Yeah, um, finally, when you were making your speech, I was very interested when you mentioned about th that this is not the time for us to sit down and be praying. Yeah. Can you elaborate, please? Yeah. Um, what the Europeans did when they missioned Africa, they put Christianity there. And the people uh, in Africa are, they believe in God. They pray to God and they were told, if you pray, uh, then God will help you. But they didn't tell them that you have to do something. Yeah? Yeah. God doesn't give you nothing if you don't put effort. And if you give money to the church, that the priest or the pastor pray for you, this is only for benefit for the pastor, but not for yourself. Because you can pray, and you can, uh, the church is a communication. People sing, people pray, and then they should put effort to improve their lives. Mm -hmm. And not only pray. Praying alone is nothing. Wonderful. Wonderful. May God bless you so. May God bless you. May God bless you. Wonderful message to African people. I hope this is making sense to you. I hope you are getting the point. This is those that brought religion to us. Now they are opening your eyes to see. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenna Okechuku known as the Bia franchise, the Wachineke, the general. I hope you get the point. Of course, this one will make sense to you. Of course, you will understand all these things that I have been saying, lamenting, calling our people that they should understand things they don't know. You know, they brainwash our people so much that our people couldn't even reason. They couldn't even understand the mess that they are into. Believe you me, Christianity is one of the major problems that is putting our people in poverty today. Christianity are one of the major problems why Africa is dying in poverty. Religion is the one of the major problems. Why today in Africa, in that zoo called Nigeria, there is no infrastructure. There is no hospital. There is no factory. There is no good road. Do you know the reason why? They have already brainwashed our people. But I will keep on saying that this man, may God bless you. And God will keep on blessing you. I keep on telling my people, not all white people are bad people. There are some people that feel humanity. They want everyone to be free. That is why this man can be able to open our, the eyes of our people so that they will begin to understand things they don't know. I've been saying this thing always. I've been lamenting. Some people are telling me I don't even know what I'm saying. Some people are saying that I'm jobless. That is why I keep on coming on social media saying things that I don't know. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it's those that brought religion to us are telling us now our problem. Because our people always love these people to tell our story. Now they are telling our story. But now pay attention. Let us... I mean, break this news down in detail so our people will understand. According to this man, he said, what European did when the missionary Africa is to put Christianity first. They put Christianity first and they don't even tell you that 
if you are praying without putting effort, nothing can be done. For instance, when you are going to church to pray, if you don't practicalize what you are saying, there is nothing, nothing can, don't, see, you are just going to be there, be wasting your time. We have a lot of our people going to church from Monday to Sunday, from Monday to Sunday, praying to Chukwokikabiyama, praying to God for manna to fall from heaven. Without practicalizing it, nothing can be done. You are just praying, wasting your time. And this man also said, when they came, they know that African people love to pray to God. But they never tell you, only your prayer can never solve your problem. And I want you to understand, this is also the brainwash of your daddy G.O., your pastor, your priest, your man of God, your imam, promising you something that you can't even see, you can't even smell. But they are there busy using security to guide themselves against attack. But they are telling you, fold your hands and pray that manna will fall from heaven. And you, because of your idiocy, because of your stupidity, because of inability to reason you couldn't even reason by yourself use your common sense to understand that every prayer that you are praying you have to practicalize it without good road how your how can you move your car without hospital when you seek how can you go to hospital without factory how can you walk and a money you are going to church to pray for God or from to manna or for manna to fall from heaven. You see, you are doing to, you are doing yourself. And the man also go further to say, if you are praying or you are waiting for God to do something for you without putting effort, that you are just wasting your time. And you know what shocks me most when this man said, only prayer. Can never solve your problem. And if you are paying money, like tithe, like giving your offering, like sowing your seed, to somebody, some idiot, or some buffoon, putting himself as a man of God, or pastor, or priest, or imam, that you sow your seed, you pay money to, and he said that he will pray for you, that that your money is just a waste. You are just paying money to give to this person. And this person is not going to render you any help. Rather, he will render you useless. Now you begin to understand. And I hope a lot of us will take example. A, a lot of our people will return from those paths they have already chosen. That manner will fall from heaven. This is the people that brought religion to us. Now they are telling you the reason why. We are dying in poverty. The reason why we don't have a good road. The reason why there is no hospital. The reason why you can't even find a job to work. Because all these people have promised you something that you couldn't even see. But they are flying with private jets. They are sleeping in mansions. Having some luxurious cars. Different assorted things. Living a large life. But they are promising you, you are going small one you have, you are putting it there, hoping that they will pray for you and your life will be better. Now they have told you. And I hope that our people will, you know, they will make sense out of this message of a white man. And I greet you all. Good day. I welcome.